Star Wars. That's, uh, what a dumb opening, right? I don't give a fuck. Anyway, guys, what's going on? We got new Star Wars news. I'm very excited about reading this, and I'm, this is something that I've wanted to see. We saw the rise and fall of Darth Vader, but Darth Vader's number one enemy, his former best friend turned arch enemy, Obi-Wan Kenobi. We've never got to see Obi-Wan between the episode between episodes three and four. Yeah, we didn't really get to see Darth Vader either, but Vader has had plenty of screen time. It's time to focus on someone else, and this is coming from somebody that my favorite character is Darth Vader. But other than Darth Vader getting this same exact treatment, Obi-Wan is next in line. And I'm very, very, very ecstatic about this. But unfortunately, it's just a rumor. This could be completely fake. This could be just somebody pulling a scam. But I had to make a video out of it in the hope that it's true because this is exciting news. And if this did cut turn out to be true, even if it's only one movie, I will scream like a little fangirl. So anyway, a source has hit the internet saying that <clears throat> Disney and Lucasfilm are planning not one, not two, not one, not two, but three. That's right, you heard me right. Three Star Wars movies about Obi-Wan Kenobi between the uh, events, between the events of Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and Episode 4, A New Hope. That means this would follow Obi-Wan after he was betrayed by Anakin Skywalker turned Darth Vader. And this would show you him all the way up to his old age in Episode 4. And that would connect. That would explain what, what Obi-Wan was doing all this time. So I'm going to read you what this source put. Remember that this is all sadly just a rumor at this time. And with, with Disney and Lucasfilm being so, so hush-hush about everything, don't, don't expect them to confirm or deny it anytime soon. So, let's get on with it. The, per the, per the person said, and I quote, First up, they are not talking about an Obi-Wan spinoff movie, but a trilogy of Obi-Wan movies. I need to stress that these movies are not connected. They aren't a part of a story arc, but three separate Obi-Wan adventures set between episodes three and four. He goes on to say, It seems like these three movie, movie ideas are as follows. One set completely on Tatooine, and two where Obi-Wan travels elsewhere in the galaxy. Qui-Gon Jinn, who was played by Liam Neeson in Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, is very much present in these stories. So too is Owen Lars. Several characters from the Star Wars The Clone Wars TV show would make an appearance. There would also be flashbacks of Obi-Wan fighting in The Clone Wars. I don't really see what that would serve. Well, I guess it would, it would, but they, they'd be able to just use footage from uh, Episode 2. But I hope Ewan McGregor gets brought back. And he said he wants to play Obi-Wan again, so I think there's a good chance of that happening. So, it's very, very interesting. This is very, very exciting. I would, I would just be so, so very happy. I would love to see this happen. Um... We don't need to focus on the episodes. We can also focus on stuff away from the main story arc, you know, episodes 7, 8, 9, which are upcoming. We could focus on other stuff. And seeing, seeing Obi-Wan just go from complete devastation, I mean, he loses all his friends, all the, all the Jedi are killed. He loses his one and only, well, his one best friend in the whole world who, 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 who he loves as a brother. I mean, it's just such a sad story. And to be able to see what happens between episode three all the way up to the events of episode four would just be an amazing amazing story to tell and i really hope this happens and this this would just be outstanding so hopefully it's true i've said enough this video is going on longer than it should so this is the Keith Carnes. i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to what do you think do you think they should make a trilogy just on obi-wan kenobi or do you think it's something they should leave alone and focus on new characters me personally i think it's obvious I want this to happen. I will see you guys in the next, and as always, thank you for watching.